Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Culture. So in this video, I'll be giving a quick update on a farm that we've been running for one and a half years, which is an indoor shrimp farming system. And we have actually also going to incorporate new technologies such as filtration technologies in our newer farm. And in this video, I will share then some of the plans uh, and even some of the expansion plans with everybody. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce content with regards to shrimp farming and market farming with RS technologies or even BioFlock. So you can actually follow our channel so they can learn more and receive a weekly notification on our latest content and, and by subscribing to the channel. So going back to this week video. So some of the status uh, that we actually been running in our farm is uh, actually after the Chinese New Year, we harvest a lot of our shrimp and we actually beginning to restock them accordingly right so as you can see this water is actually being used after one year which is at least three to four cycles already and we are still able to culture shrimps in a quite a good manner right so these are actually PLs that have been stocked you can see that only after a few days uh, PL10 and they are relatively quite tiny Right, so for some of the tanks that have been stocked uh, right after Chinese New Year, they're actually getting a bit bigger now already. Uh, some of them we did a nursery, some of them we skipped a nursery. So right now, these are about about 1 gram size and I think we stocked them about 2 weeks already. So you can see that they're growing quite well. Uh, we actually stocked this with a super PL, which is mini PL30. After a period of 2 weeks, we're getting 1 gram. And these are the shrimps that have been stocked slightly longer for 4 weeks already. And you can see now that uh, they are actually... You know, uh, growing quite well, and these are the newer PLs that we actually stock in our nursery as well. So some of the key lessons that we actually have learned is the usage of such as paddle wheel and also wave maker. We have actually realized if you install a wave maker, it might damage some of the shrimps in bigger size. So we are working on a new technology that can help us to reduce some of the speed and some of the mixing speed with regards to the paddle wheel or even the wave maker. And for the drum filter, which I actually showed everyone earlier on, we have actually brought it to our tank. And um, looking at how to mount it is actually quite a challenge uh, because some of the water needs to be flowed back via gravity from the drum filter back to the pump. So in the next update, I'll be showing how did we actually plan to mount it in the system. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the outlet typically flows by gravity. So it's a bit hard to implement a two pump system because you need one pump to go in and another pump to flow it back. And the dirt that we're trying and hopefully to get in is actually shrimp waste and uh, shrimp feed and not the biofloc itself because the biofloc is being filtered with actually the settling tanks. So you can see that we have actually been expanding our capacity from this even small shop lot up to the current capacity. And we have always shared our journey uh, and some of our findings with everybody uh, so that everybody as a whole can also improve their shrimp culture site uh, these are some of the tanks that were in our old setup which is being moved uh, into our newer growth tanks in our new facility but in the future we're using all HDP tanks so that it's a bit more reliable in because the material is a bit stronger Right. So uh, for those who haven't realized that we actually have a new uh, update on our uh, website, which is actually the new Bioflock uh, Shrimp Farming Edition. Uh, so what's new about this edition of the ebook is that you'll get some of the comparison between outdoor and indoor production and some of the newer DC such as EHP, EMS and even WSSV, which have overcome and we had them in our outdoor ponds. Uh, so we'll hope for everyone to share this and subscribe to our channel. So stay tuned and hope to see you guys back again RS Aquaculture. Thank mm -hmm. you.